first, I think we've got to understand that this is serious. Um, I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying that I think since Cuba in 1962, this is the closest we've gotten to a real nuclear crisis. This could ex escalate very quickly. Second, unlike the Cold War, India and Pakistan do not have any dependable means of crisis de-escalation. The Pakistani Prime Minister, in fact, publicly said uh, that they know how to get into a crisis, but where the war goes, they don't know. In the past, every time they've gotten into a major crisis, there have been three or four since they became nuclear powers since 1998. It's been the U.S. that's gone in, mediated, and gotten them to back off. It's been the U.S. leading the charge internationally with the Chinese, with the Brits, with the Russians, all involved giving one message, de-escalate the crisis, and then we'll worry about everything else. I'll say two things that really worked in the past. One, shuttle diplomacy. There were senior U.S. officials, senior officials from Britain. There was a tag team. They showed up in India and Pakistan and physically made these countries realize that this needs to stop. Uh, we haven't seen that yet, and I think that needs to begin immediately. And second, there was a clear sense in India and Pakistan that the world had united in that message. It wasn't only allies like Britain and Europe, but it was also the Chinese and Russians playing a very seriously helping hand to make that happen. Again, it's not clear that that can or will happen right now. But this is where we need to focus. There is no space for complacency. This could really escalate quickly now, given where the situation is.